Uh, Anwar says, is it true that the Prophet ﷺ did not have a shadow and a cloud always was on his head covering him and no flies ever touched him and he did not uh, use to yawn? First of all, whatever we describe the Prophet ﷺ by, it has to be backed up by an authentic hadith. And this is one of the definitions of sunnah. Sunnah is defined as whatever the Prophet ﷺ has said, the words, or done actions, or approved seeing something and he does, does not comment, which means it's an approval, or a description of the Prophet ﷺ, how tall he was, uh, how he did this and that, etc. So the description of the Prophet ﷺ is part of the Sunnah. Therefore, we cannot affirm that this is true or not true unless we have authentic evidence backing it up. So when we come to the first one, the Prophet did, the Prophet ﷺ did not have a shadow. This is baseless. Nothing in the Sunnah backs it up. The Prophet ﷺ always had a cloud shading him, covering him. This is baseless. The authentic sunnah uh, uh, denies it because in Hajj, he had uh, uh, Zayd ibn Haritha and Bilal, if I'm not mistaken, covering his head with a tent like from the heat of the sun. If he had a cloud, he would not have needed that. Uh, no flies ever touched him. This is also not proven. So it's just from the imagination of extremists who wanted the Prophet ﷺ to have a status different than what Allah has given him. So he is a human being. قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ Say, O Muhammad, I am merely a human being like you. Which means that he was created like us. He is like us. He lives and dies like us. But the only difference is that Allah has favored him with the message. So this is the biggest difference. Difference is that he is given revelation. So this is the status that Allah Azza wa Jal or the level that the Prophet Allah Azza wa Jal has placed his Prophet in. We should not go above that nor below that. So about the flies, no evidence, none whatsoever in the Quran and the Sunnah. About yawning, well, this, we don't have evidence uh, uh, backing it up, but the general evidence says that this is true. Because we know that in the hadith that yawning is from shaitan. And the Prophet ﷺ cannot be touched or harmed by shaitan. Therefore, if we were to say that the Prophet never yawned, that would have been a correct statement and Allah knows best.